Thank you, Chief. And uh, I would like to echo Chief Bodke's words. It's uh, it's heartbreaking uh, dealing with uh, we're three or four hours after the initial call for this incident, and uh, I think we're still a little bit uh, surprised. We never hoped for something like this to happen in our backyard, and uh, our hearts and sympathies, and certainly our prayers go out to the entire city of Buffalo and the entire Wright County area as uh, <laughs> Mayor Lockemeyer alluded to, we're family here, and uh, we don't want this to happen to our neighbors and, and our friends. So I will identify the suspect as Gregory Paul Ulrich, L-U-R-I-C-H. He's 67 years old. He is from Buffalo. We have had several uh, calls for service regarding Mr. Ulrich dating back to 2003, both the Pu Buffalo Police Department and the Wright County Sheriff's Office. So he's no stranger to law enforcement. Uh, certainly, I would uh, go back to Chief Budke as we all respond to a call like this, right? It, uh, Buffalo Police Department doesn't have to put an all call out for assistance. Uh, we we self-dispatch to that. And upon our arrival, we also located several several victims in this. It's a, it's a horrible looking scene. And uh, our staff immediately began rendering aid to those victims. Once all the victims were removed from the premises, my team uh, did a cursory secondary search of the building, made sure that no one else was in it. During the secondary search, uh, we also found a suspicious package uh, in the corner of the lobby. So we have contacted the uh, Minneapolis bomb squad and they are on scene right now helping us with that. Once that was taken care of or once that was found, we evacuated our team members out of there in coordination with the Buffalo Police Department. My office uh, quickly became apparent that we could probably use some help. We had several witnesses, obviously several victims. They're taken to several different locations. And so we've called in some detectives. Thank you, uh, Sheriff Dave Hutchinson from the Hennepin County Sheriff's Office. He sent a team of detectives to my office uh, north of Buffalo to help with those victim statements and the witness statements. So appreciate that. Um, also, uh, out of an abundance of caution, early on in this investigation, we did receive information that Mr. Ulrich was staying uh, most recently at the Super 8 Motel here in Buffalo. We did send a, a team from my office over there to evacuate the Super 8 Motel. Uh, we did find additional suspicious devices at the Super 8 Motel. It's been evacuated and we've cleared the area. Uh, just minutes before coming back here, I got a call update. Uh, we have search warrants are in hand. Uh, we are going to continue to work with uh, the Buffalo Police Department, certainly our state and local partners, along with our federal partners. Uh, depending on where this investigation, we are certainly in the infancy of this investigation, but we certainly don't want to leave any stone unturned, and we want to make sure that we're being prudent throughout this entire investigation. We do believe that Mr. Ulrich did, did act alone, so a sigh of relief may be for us in the law enforcement community uh, and, and our community as a whole. We're not looking for any additional suspects. We believe that he acted alone, and so we've got time on our side. We can all get, gather the information once these scenes are secured, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll uh, rely on the ATF and the Minneapolis Bomb Squad to tell us when those scenes are secure. We can start the tedious process of making sure that we document to the best and fullest of our ability. So again, I would echo the comments from Chief Budke um, that our heart goes out to this entire community. It's uh, we in the law enforcement community uh, don't wish this upon anyone and uh, it's with uh, a heartfelt prayerful uh, message to the community that we will do everything that we can to, to bring this to a closure. I'd also like to thank our other local, state, and federal partners that have showed up. I've had many conversations with several of our surrounding police chiefs and sheriffs, and uh, the help that's being offered is exponential, and, and certainly it, it means a lot to have those relationships uh, developed at a time like this when, when we need it the most. So uh, we will continue to update to the best of uh, our ability, as this investigation is certainly in its infancy, and, and we'll continue to gather information, certainly as the days and uh, weeks progress. So we'll continue to update the best of our ability. So thank you all for being here and taking part of this. I would like to turn it over actually to the Buffalo uh, Hospital President, Kelly Spratt.